What's up guys, it is Cameron here back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play any of your PC games on an iOS or Android device. Now this is really simple to set up and what's really cool is that you can play any games that are on your PC, you know that could be on Steam, on Uplay, really anything, and you can use your iOS or Android device as not only another monitor for you to play the game, but as actually a control stick as well. So as you can see here on the screen, for example, I am playing Call of Duty World at War just because that's the only COD game that I have on PC and I figured I would show off how it would work with a first person shooter game. And as you can see, there is on-screen controls. You can see pretty well and overall, it's just a really cool thing to do. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So in order to play your PC games on your iOS or Android device, we're gonna be using an app called Remoter. Now what's great about this is that on iOS and Android devices, this is straight up on the app store. You don't have to download any shady other uh, third-party apps, nothing like that. It's direct off the app store and then we're also gonna be installing the application onto your PC as well well. So it kind of goes without saying, but in order to do this, you're going to have to actually own all the games that you're going to be playing on your phone on your PC, because otherwise it would really just be impossible to be playing these games on your phone. It's just too demanding. And so essentially what this method is going to allow you to do is stream over the games from your PC to your iOS or Android device. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this on an iOS device, but the same kind of things will apply for Android. It's really the same exact thing. So getting right into it, the first thing you're going to want to do is head to the App Store and search for the app Remoter. That's R-E-M-O-T-R. -E And once you find it on the App Store, you're going to go ahead and install it. And what's great about this is it's absolutely free. It doesn't cost any money, nothing totally free. And so once you have that installed on your device, you're going to want to go ahead and open it up. And that's all that you're going to need to do for now. And of course, I will have a link to the app in the top of the description below. So once you have it installed, what you're then going to do is hop onto your PC and click the other link in the description below, the second link. And that's going to take you to the desktop site for Remoter. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead and download the desktop application to your PC. So as you can see, all that you're going to want to do is click get remoter now. And then when you get taken to this screen, you're going to click the blue button over there where it says install for your PC or Mac. And you are then going to want to go ahead and go along with the installation process should really only take a minute or two. And now once you have it fully installed onto your PC, you're going to open it up, open up the application, and it's going to take you to this screen here that says hello gamer, and it's going to ask you to create an account. So you're just going to want to go ahead and create your account here, just an email, a password, all that good stuff. Really, really simple to do. And as you can see, once your account is actually created, it's going to take you to this screen here where it'll show you all the list of games that you have downloaded to your PC that the software automatically recognizes. And you can always add another game in the bottom left there if it's not immediately recognized by Remoter. And so yeah, it's pretty cool. You can see all the games that you have. And once you're taken to this screen, you are completely done with what you need to do on the PC. So now you're going to want to make your way back to your iOS or Android device and open up the app, the Remoter app. And you're going to go ahead and log in with the same credentials, the same username and password that you did on the desktop application. And it's going to take you to a screen like this here, where it is going to show the PC that was discovered on your network. So make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi connection as your PC. And you are simply going to want to click on that. It's going to take a minute to load up. And as you can see here, you have the same list of games that you had on your PC. So once you've determined which game that you actually want to play, you can go ahead and click on the game and it's automatically going to launch it for you. So as you can see here, it'll take you to a quick kind of short display of your actual PC as the game is actually booting up and then the game will just start running. So for the sake of this video, as I said earlier, I was playing Call of Duty World at War just because that's the only Call of Duty game that I have for PC and I figured it'd be a good kind of showcase for you guys. And as you can see here, it brought up kind of controller settings automatically so I don't even have to do anything. And all of these touch controls work actually very well. It basically just emulates a controller input onto your PC and it's really actually pretty smooth like you could actually play with this. Now if for some reason you want the controls to come up but they don't, all that you have to do is click the little remoter icon in the top left corner and you can set it up there. 
or you can choose to remove the controls and what you could do is just take your phone and an actual controller that you have hooked up to your PC and just use the controller on your iPhone as if it was just another monitor there. Really the possibilities are endless of what you can do here and it's actually really impressive that they can establish this really solid connection. There's really not that much lag and also include touch controls on the game. So anyways guys, that is how you can play PC games on your iOS or Android device. It's really a pretty simple thing, all that you're going to do is download the app, download the application for your desktop PC, create an account, go back on your phone, select which game you want to play, and boom. So I'm just going to let the rest of my Call of Duty gameplay roll out for you guys if you're interested in just watching some of it. If not, the video is over. And thanks for checking out the video, I hope it was very useful for you guys and that you can now play these PC games on your iOS or Android device. Device. Now unfortunately don't even ask there is not any way to natively play these games on your iOS or Android device It really is just impossible. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video If you did be sure to leave a like and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace